I'm Ray Stein, at your leisure in Jensen, Utah, in the heart of dinosaur land, where this time of year things can get pretty noisy. They are the sights and the sounds that make us know that the seasons are changing. Sandhill cranes pass through Utah each fall on their yearly migratory journey from their summer homes in far northern Alaska and Canada. They are headed for Mexico and southwestern U.S. for the winter. The Uinta Basin serves as a refueling stop for thousands of cranes. The birds spend the night safely on the river, then at sunup move to the stubble grain fields to stoke up. We have a perfect environment for them. Over here on Dinosaur National Monument and then on the other side of town in Oray, we have the, the wildlife refuge. And so it's a great stopover spot. There's a, it's kind of a swampy area on the Green River where they can rest and roost at night. And then the fields, all the agricultural fields, they come out and eat at all day long. Sandhill cranes stand from two and a half to four and a half feet tall with a bright red spot on their foreheads. Up to seven and a half foot wingspans make them skilled soaring birds. Their migratory flocks can contain hundreds of birds. Their name comes from the Nebraska sandhills along the Platte River, where thousands of birds stop over during migration. We saw them here on a trip back east several years ago. It's an amazing sight and sound, and they add a spectacular flair to Great Plains sunsets. Jensen resident Heather Campbell hosts these birds nearly in her backyard. I love it. Um, it just makes living here spectacular. The cranes are a big reason Kelly Lynch moved to the basin. I came down to look for a house in March, and when I first got out of my car, cranes were flying over, and that made me realize I knew I could live here. They're, they're big, uh, they're noisy, uh, and I also learned today that they're, they're the oldest prehistoric uh, bird around. Still, that's still living. Fossils indicate crane ancestors have been cruising North America for 10 million years. Modern sandhill fossils date from two and a half million years ago, half again as long as any other living bird. Sandhill cranes in dinosaur land are a great reminder that birds are avian dinosaurs, the direct descendants of those wonderful beasts that we have uh, preserved as fossils in the rock. We can actually see them and hear them still today. Each fall, the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources hosts a public crane viewing adventure in Jensen, providing binoculars, spotting scopes, and lots of good information. We have this annual event. Uh, we just want to kind of showcase some of the great wildlife we have here in Utah. So this, this week it's Sandhill Cranes. Restein at your leisure along the way in Jensen, Utah. <laughs>